Mastering DevOps Culture Change Their teams are crippled by inefficient processes, bleeding time, and customer trust. What are the most significant pain points that their teams are experiencing in their current development and delivery processes that they believe are hindering their ability to achieve operational excellence and deliver value to their customers more quickly and reliably? As I worked with a team undergoing a DevOps culture change, I noticed a sense of frustration and burnout among the team members. They felt like they were stuck in a never-ending cycle of firefighting, with no clear direction or control over their work. They knew they needed to change, but didn't know where to start. One of the biggest pain points they identified was the siloed nature of their teams. Developers, testers, and operations teams worked in isolation, each with their own priorities and goals. This led to a lack of collaboration, communication, and trust. It was like they were working in separate bubbles, with no clear understanding of how their work fit into the bigger picture. I recall a conversation with the development team lead, who exclaimed, we're like a bunch of firefighters, always putting out fires, but never getting to the root of the problem. The testers echoed similar sentiments, saying, we're always playing catch up, trying to test code that's already been written, instead of being involved from the beginning. The operations team was equally frustrated, feeling like they were always on the receiving end of badly written code, struggling to deploy and maintain the applications. They felt like they were mere custodians, rather than partners in the development process. It was clear that the existing development and delivery processes were hindering their ability to achieve operational excellence. They needed to break down the silos and create a culture of collaboration and trust. To tackle this, we implemented a series of practical steps. First, we established cross-functional teams that included developers, testers, and operations personnel. This forced them to work together, share knowledge, and understand each other's perspectives. Next, we introduced a continuous integration and continuous deployment CI /CD, pipeline, which automated testing, deployment, and feedback. This helped to identify and fix issues early on, reducing the likelihood of downstream problems. We also established a culture of experimentation and learning, where teams were encouraged to try new approaches, share their experiences, and learn from failures. This helped to build trust and foster a sense of ownership and accountability. Throughout the process, I noticed a significant shift in the team's mindset. They began to see themselves as part of a larger ecosystem, working together to achieve a common goal. The developers started to think about the operability of their code. The testers began to work closely with the developers to ensure testing was thorough, and the operations team started to feel like equal partners in the development process. As we worked through the challenges, I felt a sense of excitement and hope. The team was starting to see the benefits of operational excellence, and it was contagious. They began to share their experiences with other teams, spreading the message of collaboration and continuous improvement. In the end, the team realized that achieving operational excellence wasn't just about adopting new tools or technologies, but about creating a culture of trust, collaboration, and continuous learning. By working together and breaking down the silos, they were able to deliver value to their customers more quickly and reliably, and they felt a sense of pride and accomplishment in their work. To achieve operational excellence and deliver value to customers more quickly and reliably, it is essential to identify and address the pain points in the current development and delivery processes. In many organizations, teams struggle with inefficiencies in their development and delivery processes, leading to delays, defects, and inefficiencies. These pain points can be attributed to various factors, including inadequate communication, poor collaboration, lack of automation, inefficient testing, and inadequate monitoring and feedback. One significant pain point is the lack of alignment between development and operations teams. In traditional environments, these teams often work in silos, with development teams focused on writing code and operations teams focused on maintaining infrastructure. This separation can lead to misunderstandings, miscommunication, and a lack of accountability, resulting in delays, errors, and rework. 
Another pain point is the manual and labor-intensive nature of many development and delivery processes. Manual testing, deployment, and monitoring can be time-consuming and prone to errors, leading to delays and inefficiencies. Furthermore, manual processes can make it challenging to scale and adapt to changing business requirements. Inadequate automation is another significant pain point. Without automation, teams struggle to keep up with the pace of change, and minor errors can cause significant delays. Automation can help to reduce errors, increase efficiency, and free up teams to focus on higher value activities. Inefficient testing is another pain point. Without adequate testing, teams risk releasing code that is not fit for purpose, leading to defects, rework, and dissatisfaction among customers. Inefficient testing can also lead to delays, as teams struggle to identify and fix defects. A lack of monitoring and feedback is another significant pain point. Without adequate monitoring and feedback, teams struggle to understand how their systems are performing, making it challenging to identify areas for improvement. This can lead to delays, errors, and inefficiencies, as teams are unable to respond quickly to changing business requirements. To address these pain points and achieve operational excellence, organizations must adopt a culture of continuous improvement and learning. This requires a mindset shift, where teams are empowered to take ownership of their processes and are encouraged to experiment, learn, and improve. Firstly, organizations must establish clear goals and objectives, aligned to business outcomes. This will help to create a sense of purpose and direction, and ensure that teams are focused on delivering value to customers. Secondly, organizations must adopt agile and lean principles, which emphasize collaboration, continuous improvement, and the elimination of waste. This will help to break down silos, improve communication, and increase efficiency. Thirdly, organizations must invest in automation and tooling to reduce manual labor and increase efficiency. This can include automation of testing, deployment, and monitoring, as well as the use of DevOps tools such as Jenkins, Docker, and Kubernetes. Fourthly, organizations must establish a culture of continuous testing and feedback. This can include the use of automated testing, continuous integration, and continuous deployment, as well as the use of feedback loops to identify areas for improvement. Finally, organizations must establish a culture of continuous learning and improvement. This can include the use of retrospectives, blameless postmortems, and experimentation to identify areas for improvement and to learn from failures. By addressing these pain points and adopting a culture of continuous improvement and learning, organizations can achieve operational excellence and deliver value to customers more quickly and reliably. This will require a mindset shift where teams are empowered to take ownership of their processes and are encouraged to experiment, learn, and improve.